grade, the State Department of Public Instruction has released its annual report card for private and public schools in Wisconsin. Fox 6 is Brett Lemoyne crunching the numbers at at least two of the area's largest school districts, Milwaukee and Racine, and joins us in studio with how they're both doing. Brett? Well, both MPS and Racine Unified School District are found to, quote, meet few expectations. Milwaukee's overall score comes in higher, but DPI officials say numbers are increasing year to year. The Wisconsin Department of Instruction reports 87% of schools statewide met or exceeded expectations. Looking at each district, 96% of the state's 421 public school districts remain solid. Milwaukee Public Schools and Racine Unified School Districts still have work to do, though. Report cards range from five stars, meaning the schools and districts significantly exceeded expectations, to one star, meaning failure to meet expectations. Racine and Milwaukee have two stars, meeting few expectations. Their scores have gone up a little bit over the last few years. Laura Pensno with DPI in Madison says there is a correlation between failing schools and income inequality. The schools that are lower performing on the report cards tend to have higher percentages of students experiencing poverty. Looking at specific schools within MPS. What we are seeing is growth on that sliding scale of us moving and shifting into the right direction. Reagan College Preparatory High School has notched four stars. It gets solid marks for closing achievement gaps. Riverside High School, however, fails with one star. Its math, English, and student engagement numbers were low. Superintendent Keith Posley says state and local budgets need to address quality education. From a uh, funding perspective, we are doing well. And we, and, and honestly, every year, I want to move that up uh, year by year, next year looking at a greater amount going into the classroom. One area overall all districts need to work on. DPI says 153 school report cards lost points for missing the absenteeism target. That's an increase of 28 schools compared to last year's report. If you want